This video will demonstrate the steps for tympanocentesis with the CDT speculum. The CDT speculum is a sterile disposable instrument comprised of a needle and actuator integrated to a standard ear speculum. CDT is available with either 3 mm or 5 mm speculum tips. The CDT speculum attaches to either pneumatic or diagnostic otoscopes made by Welsh Allen. It is a simple press fit for pneumatic otoscopes, which allows flexibility in instrument orientation. To attach a CDT speculum to a diagnostic otoscope, align the actuator arm of the CDT with the insufflator port on the otoscope. Press the two firmly together and rotate the CDT about 90 degrees until it comes to a stop. This creates a firm and stable fit. This safety latch prevents unintended needle extension by blocking the forward motion of the actuator. When the safety is disengaged, compression of the actuator extends the needle outside the speculum tip. Releasing pressure on the actuator instantly retracts the needle. Needle extension is limited to a maximum of 15 millimeters. This prevents the needle from being extended too far into the middle ear space. Use of the CDT aspiration system is demonstrated here with a container of dye. The CDT aspirator is a latex-free reusable suction bulb that attaches to the filter on the base of the CDT needle hub. This filter is a 1.2 micron hydrophobic microbial barrier that prevents cross-contamination between aspirated fluid and the aspiration equipment. The aspirator bulb is compressed before inserting the speculum into the patient's ear. It is released after the needle tip has passed into the middle ear space. Suction is immediately halted when fluid contacts the hydrophobic filter membrane. This will almost always prevent the bulb from fully inflating. To expel aspirated fluid, the aspirator is momentarily detached from the filter to allow the bulb to fully inflate. Reattach the bulb, extend the needle, and compress the bulb to expel fluid from the needle tip. Remove and keep the reusable aspirator bulb, engage the safety on the CDT speculum, remove it from the otoscope, and dispose of it in a Sharps disposal container. If you are using a transport swab, the sterile interior surface of the CDT packaging tray makes a useful reservoir for transferring the aspirate. 